Good morning. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernita morning headlines on October 19, 2022. Omicron's grandchildren could dominate COVID cases this winter, experts warn. The Independent. What threat does COVID-19 pose for us this winter? Ukraine war. Paramedics treat woman in battered Bakhmut during intense aerial attack. Two killed after small plane crashes into car park of car dealership in Ohio. Sky News, two are dead after a small 10-seater commuter plane crashes into Ohio car dealership. Daily Mail, two killed after plane crashes into car park of motor dealership in Ohio. Express, Raw, plane crashes into Ohio car dealership, FIO TV7 and FIO Radio. FIO, small passenger plane crashes into car dealership. What do U.S. curbs on selling microchips to China mean for the global economy? The Guardian, U.S. chip sanctions and COVID spawn China's second-hand semiconductor market. Bloomberg, Chinese local governments ramp up chip industry support as U.S. piles on pressure. South China Morning Post, ID Tech EX, the impact of newly added U.S. sanctions on the Chinese semiconductor sector. Trump Russia Steel dossier source acquitted of lying to FBI. BBC, analyst acquitted at trial over discredited Trump dossier. The Independent, losing, Trump-era special counsel embarrassed in another legal loss. UK's mini-budget U-turn welcomed by IMF. BBC, IMF says Britain's U-turn on economic plan signals fiscal discipline. Reuters UK, IMF welcomes fiscal discipline in UK financial U-turn. RTE, i.e., IMF says Britain's U-turn on economic plan signals fiscal discipline. Inquirer.net, IMF welcomes fiscal discipline in UK mini-budget reversal. Iran agrees to supply missiles as well as drones to Russia. The Guardian, Russia-Ukraine updates, drone news shows Moscow is militarily bankrupt. DW, English, Iran sends military trainers to help Russia deploy drones against Ukraine, reports. The Times of Israel, it's not going to work retired general on Putin's kamikaze drone attacks. CNN, there's a good reason the Russian air force is faltering. Ukrainian air defense crews have better apps. Kanye West News, live, George Floyd family suing rapper over false claims, as anti-Semitism row escalates. The Independent, family of George Floyd sue Kanye West in a $250 million lawsuit. Daily Mail, George Floyd's family sue Kanye West for $250 million. Metro.co.uk, Kanye West being sued for $250 million by George Floyd's daughter. Florida flesh-eating illness cases spike after Hurricane Ian. BBC, Florida cases of flesh-eating bacterial infections spike after Hurricane Ian. The Independent, flesh-eating bacteria cases are rising in Florida after Hurricane Ian. The Washington Post, Dangerous flesh-eating bacterial infections increased in Florida after Hurricane Ian. CNN, Florida sees surge in deadly bacterial infections post-Hurricane Ian. Paris murder, killing of Lola, 12, sparks immigration row in France. BBC, France, woman charged in Paris over 12-year-old's brutal murder, France 24 English. France 24 English, murdered schoolgirl found in plastic box outside family flat. The Times, Francis Macron meets parents of murdered 12-year-old. The local France, woman arrested over killing of girl found in suitcase in Paris. Florida man arrested after four dismembered bodies found in river in Oklahoma. Sky News, arrest made after four men found shot and cut up after planning to hit a lick. Redditch advertiser, loved ones remember brothers murdered in Okmulgee. News9.com KWTV, scrapyard owner, 67, is arrested after four friends were shot dead and dismembered in Oklahoma. Germany fires cybersecurity chief over Russia ties. BBC, German cybersecurity chief sacked following reports of Russia ties. The Guardian, German cybersecurity chief sacked over alleged Russia ties, France 24 English. France 24 English, Germany's cybersecurity agency chief sacked for alleged close ties to Russia. The Telegraph, German cybersecurity chief sacked over possible ties to Russian intelligence. Iranian schoolgirl beaten to death for refusing to sing pro-regime anthem. 
The Guardian, Iranian schoolgirl dies after reportedly being beaten for refusing song praising Ayatollah. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, Iranian schoolgirl killed by regime forces for refusing to sing pro Khamenei anthem. The Times of Israel, Iran protests, schoolgirl allegedly killed over the weekend by police as UN raises concern. Guardian News, Timeline, Month of Anger in Iran over Woman's Death. Swedish government scraps country's pioneering feminist foreign policy. The Guardian, devastating consequences is new Swedish government scraps environment ministry. Euronews, Sweden's new right-wing government unveils plans, cabinet ministers. Anadolu Agency, English, Swedish parliament approves far right back government amid liberal discontent. EURACTIV, Sweden's new PM names ministers to navigate raft of foreign policy challenges. Cement firm Lafarge pleads guilty to supporting IS. BBC, French cement company charged with sponsoring ISIS for Syrian plant protection. MSNBC, French cement firm admits paying IS nearly $6 million to keep Syrian plant open. The Guardian, Francis Lafarge pleads guilty to US charge of supporting terror groups in Syria, France 24. France 24 English, Lafarge made a deal with the devil, US prosecutors. Berlusconi said he received vodka from Putin for birthday, reports say. The Guardian, Berlusconi rekindles Putin friendship with sweet letter and gifts. The Telegraph, Italy's right coalition now vows unity after Senate backstabbing. EURACTIV, Silvio Berlusconi says he exchanged gifts and sweet letters with Vladimir Putin. Financial Times, Italy's Berlusconi meets Premier to be Maloney in sign of unity. Russia-Ukraine war live. Russia warns of fight for Kherson in, very near future, hundreds of thousands in Ukraine without water or power. The Guardian, Russia vs Ukraine war update, Ukraine's energy facilities targeted in winters, English News Live. CNN News 18, Ukraine war, Russia admits Kherson tense under shelling. BBC, Kherson facing backquote difficult backquote situation, Russian commander admits amid claims of overnight shelling by Kyiv. WION, Russia's new Ukraine commander signals civilian removals from tense Kherson. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.